Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in as always. And in a departure from my recent super long videos, today is a super short one. So I ran out of time when I was making the video last week about the IK Foam Pro 2 Plus, And I wanted to just test the different tips. Essentially, there's a pickup tip on the pickup tube in here. At the moment, it's fitted with the gray pickup tip which is the intermediate pickup tip. And then you have a green one, comes with a set that has a small hole. And then you have the orange pickup tip with a larger hole and intermediate foam with a gray, green tip, dry foam, orange tip, wet foam. Now, just to point out very quickly, Really, having it really, really thick isn't necessarily ideal. Intermediate foam's probably the sweet spot. Nonetheless, I wanna test them. So, I have got a thousand mil of water in here, which is a little bit too much. It's not ideal to have it this full, but I wanna be able to do these tests one after another. Intermediate, then we'll do the dry foam, then we'll do the wet foam, all with exactly the same dilution ratio. We've got a thousand mil of water in here and 200 mil of Built Hamber Auto Foam, which if you've watched my previous video, which I'll put a link to up here, um, the Auto Foam performed particularly well and on 20% strength, so 200 mil of product in 1,000 mil of water, it worked well, it's quite thick. But as I say, today we'll test it with these different tips. So I'll just get out, get that on the car, and I'll try and get the tip changed over while the foam is still hanging on the car so we can compare the panels. I'll try and do that as quick as possible. So, intermediate tip. Fully pumped, 20% strength product. We'll just get this on, get a nice close up of the delivery in the foam. And then I'll get the tip changed at speed. But look, that produces lovely foam. Right, we'll get the tip changed at speed. I'll put the wet one in first. Same concentration, exactly the same mixture, and this is the wet tip. And that has hung for about four minutes. So this is the wet tip. Quick look at delivery. Delivery's still really nice, but you can see Clearly, it doesn't clean. But you know, that's good for cleaning performance. That's doing good. Right, let's get the other tip in. Intermediate tip, gone. This was the wet tip, nearly gone. Same mixture again, dry tip. This is my first test too, interesting. So if you want shaving foam, this is the way to do it. Look at how it collects. Super thick. Not necessarily ideal for cleaning. You don't want it to sit. You want it to slide down the car. But it does go to show you can make super thick foam. Right, I'm gonna use the rest up. Let me pump that off camera. Right, that's been 30 seconds-ish. So I'm gonna do all of this panel because while I've got this mixed up, why not? Let's get it all on. car is in desperate need of a wash, which is what's happening next. But that's really interesting. As I say in all my videos, my first test is your first test. I've been meaning to try them for ages. I don't do 
dry runs on the products. I use them for the first time, I test them for the first time, I video it for the first time, so you see exactly what you'd get as a consumer. But you know, 20% strength, built hamber, auto foam. It's doing good with a dry tip in the IK Foam Pro 2 Plus, and that is doing good. Right, I'm gonna get back in the van, just do a quick demonstration of how to change the tip over. And that is me for today. So, it wouldn't be a proper demonstration without showing very quickly how this changes. So basically, the tips press into that little hole there in the underside of the lid or pump handle unit. And you just pop that off the pickup tube, put on your next desired tip, press it into that little hole, like that, you'll get a reassuring click, and this is just a press fit into here, like so, and then reassemble. Right, just gonna use it up. Why not? Car is utterly cessed. <sighs> Bad times. So I'm gonna use this up be rude not to show a little bit more delivery with the thick dry foam setting and then we'll wrap it up. Lovely jubbly, lovely thick foam. Not a bad cling time, just about right really. Anyway, as I say, that's it for me. A short, sharp, quick one. Little update on the IK Foam Pro 2 Plus, which I didn't get a chance to show the tips last Sunday when I was filming because I ran out of daylight and ended up washing the car in the dock. Anyway, so I found that really interesting. I hope you do too. Nice, quick, short one, as I say. Thank you, as always, for all your support, comments, likes, subscribes. If you're enjoying the content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit the bell button so you get notifications when I post up new content, of which there is gonna be loads of autumnal cleaning videos anyway take care have a great day ahead and a great week all the very best take care bye bye